In this training, I will give you an overview of the Risk Criteria tab in Risk Manageable Template Software. The Risk Criteria tab is available from the Home tab under the Risk section. With this Risk Criteria tab, you can record the terms of reference to evaluate risks. These terms of reference or tolerance guidelines and thresholds are deemed generic. That is, they would apply to evaluating all risks and controls on all objectives in the Risk Register tab and the Control Register tab. For more information on the Risk Register tab and the Control Register tab, please refer to the relevant training. In the Risk Criteria tab, you can record the date of the last review of Risk Criteria information in this tab. And you can record the name of the reviewer of this Risk Criteria information. You can define risk criteria for zones, which are the combinations of likelihood and consequence levels if a risk occurs. Although not commonly practiced, the definition of risk criteria for risk zones is often a bridge for making more practical an otherwise elusive risk appetite. Most importantly, you can define risk criteria for likelihood levels, which are the likelihood a consequence of the risk will occur on the objective and you can define risk criteria for consequence levels, which are the consequences of an event on the objective if a risk occurs. The risk criteria tables to fill up for zones likelihood and consequence are similar. There is a header which contains a short definition. The left column shows the zones or shows the levels for which risk criteria or tolerance guidelines have to be filled up. The colors for zones and the colors for levels are automatically applied from the Risk Matrix Settings tab. For more information on the Risk Matrix Settings tab, please refer to the relevant training. The column Exposure must contain a summary statement of one to three words. Filling up this column is mandatory. These summary statements are automatically displayed in other parts of the Risk Management tool. For example, these exposure summary statements feed into the Risk Appetite tab. For more information on the Risk Appetite tab, please refer to the relevant training. The column Tolerance Guidelines and Thresholds contains the actual terms of reference to evaluate risks. Filling up this column is optional. These terms of reference can be quite detailed and extensive, and you may want to just type the name and location of the document to refer to. In summary, the Risk Criteria tab enables you to record key information related to the terms of reference to evaluate risks. Et voilà! For more information, please visit managenable.com. Thank you!